Hello everybody, welcome to my newest uh, Blu-ray update. Uh, this is about three months worth of stuff. Uh, it's quite a bit. Um, I'm going to try to get through this in 11 minutes because all I got to of recording time left on my camera. Uh, but yeah, let's get into this. Uh, I'll try to just kind of tell you a little bit about what I think of each movie if I can. Um, anyways, the first one is Back to Future, the trilogy box set uh, Blu-ray for, I got, I think it was $20 used after shipping. And you got Demetrius and the Gladiators. I have not watched that one yet. Got Killer's Moon. Pretty cool movie. Definitely different. The Innkeepers. Really, really cool haunt ghost type film, whatever you want to call it. Um, the Breakfast Club. Which I absolutely love. Of course, it's a classic. I can't remember if I showed this one off yet, but we got Rango. Love that movie. Henry Portrait of a Serial Killer. Then we got Rambo's 3, 2, and the first one. I got all those for, I can't remember how much they were. I Only a couple bucks each, actually, which was a damn good deal. Uh, Murder Obsession. Horror Show. I've not got to watch any of those two yet. Um, that's 70s show, season one. Looks really, really good. It looks better than what you'd think. Um, the Darkest Hour. Baba Yaga. The Blues Brothers, which I got for five bucks. Brand new. Death Race, which I got for 99 cents, brand new at uh, Best Buy. It was, it was kind of weird because I went on there this one uh, Sunday morning to uh, see what they had on like Blu-rays on sale. And this one, and there was like one or two other ones that were really, really cheap. And, and I was like, a dollar, I mean, a dollar for that? You can't beat that. 99 cents, you cannot beat it. Jacob's Ladder. I think I paid like seven ninety nine at at uh, Walmart for that one. King Kong. I actually bought this one. Uh, WB relaunched their shop, so it was like thirteen dollars with free shipping. Piranha. Have not got to watch that remake yet. Beauty and the Beast. I picked this up for twelve dollars after shipping, brand new. Um, I actually bought it from uh, a person off Craigslist that had a few copies for sale. I don't care how they got it. I'm not questioning them, but I got it now. Alice Wonderland, I picked that up for like $3 at a pawn shop. Uh, the case is still kind of roughed up. And uh, the disc actually had like a scuff on it, but I got the scuff off. Sorry about that. It was my son talking. Well, not just talking, making weird noises. Next one is this fix. Love this movie. If anyone gets a chance to watch it, if you're into like stuff like Ghostbusters or like steampunk type stuff, check it out. That's all I'm going to say. The Terminator, eight bucks on Blu-ray from I think Target. Frighteners, ten dollars on Blu-ray. Recoil. Some of this stuff is stuff I got to review from my website, and then some of it's stuff I bought. Mother's Day remake, really, really well, well made, and it's very different than the original. Just so, so give it an open, uh, be open to it when you go to watch it. Uh, the Human Centipede 2. I absolutely loved it. We got Glorious Bastards original. I think I paid like $11 off eBay for that one. It's a mad, 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 mad world. 7 bucks from Walmart's website, plus whatever I think tax was. New Nuns with Big Guns. That movie was, wasn't too bad. Um, the Toy. Definitely worth the upgrade. Goonies. I actually got this for free in the end because of uh, Best Buy screwing around with me about things. And I'm getting it for free. So Nancy, I can't remember if I showed this one. I probably did show that one already. Aliens. I absolutely love it on Blu-ray. Alien. Don't have the slipcover, but oh well. No big deal. I bought it for the movie, not the slipcover. Uh, Rhodey. Pretty cool uh, drama film. 
We got Night Train Murders. Awesome movie. It's pretty much the last house on the left on a train. European Vacation. It was seven ninety nine at Best Buy. Picked up Christmas Vacation. I think I paid around ten or eleven dollars after shipping for it. Well worth it, of course. Psycho seven ninety nine from Best Buy with free shipping, of course. Battle Royale collection, well worth. Uh, if you bought, it, if you buy it, definitely well worth all the money that you pay out for it. They actually had it for really cheap at uh, Family Video uh, about a week or two ago. Well, a couple weeks ago, actually. It was like seventeen ninety nine, brand new, for the same thing. Uh, double feature, Charlie Corn and Hellraiser. They both look great on there. Red State, absolutely love that movie. The Devil's Rejects and House of Thousand Corpses. Big Country, I paid $2.17 for this, brand new. And... I think I actually got free shipping on it at the time. I can't quite remember off that part, but I only paid two dollars seventeen cents. And actually, the website that has it for that price still has it for that price. And it's like ninety six cents shipping. So if you don't, if you want to know where to get it, uh, just uh, ask me, and I'll tell you. <clears throat> fifty fifty, loved it. The Deadly Spawn, pretty cool. I mean, well, I love the movie, but I don't know what to say about the Blu Ray. It's so so. Robocop. Still got more people. Bell, Book, and Candle, which I have not opened yet. Bite the Bullet. These are all from, these few are from Twilight Time, which is uh, all of them limited to 3,000. Swamp Water. Can't remember if I showed this one. The Rapture. Well, if I did, I'd put it in here again. If I showed this one, uh, sorry about that. Uh, the Roots of Heaven. Camel Spiders. Thou shalt not kill except. The Hills of Eyes 2. Virgin Witch. These are, for the most part, at least next year, are all from Redemption films. Well, it's Kino Lorber who's uh, distributing them. Fascination. Lips of Blood. The Iron Rose, Shivers of the Vampire, and the Nude Vampire. The Scarlet Worm. With the Dead Go to Die, that's a really fucked up movie. Stir Crazy, love it. Good old Gene Wilder. And uh, uh, Richard Pryor. The Terror Experiment, I have not opened that one yet. Uh, Corman's World, awesome documentary about Ro Roger Corman. And last but not least, for right now, Strip Nude for Your Killer. Hope you guys enjoyed this update. It's a lot of Blu-rays, and uh, I'll have a DVD update here soon. All right, guys. Bye.